Melech Yoishev. So, everywhere you go, Amelech is a big, uh, it's a, a big concept uh, for uh, Rosh Hashanah. Then uh, in Uman, it was, it was big. They would, uh, yeah, ba maybe rooted in Karlin. Of course, in the Machser, you see about the Karliner. He would meditate on it, right? And then there was Vieda Kopo, Kiata Pealto. Everyone should know that, that God is the king. So that's about, you know, it's about getting everyone involved. But then comes back to the person again. Do you, you got it? You had a Rosh Hashanah? Before you worry about the whole world uh, believing in the same God that you uh, were raised to believe in, um, here we are. Uh, did you get it? So then there's a personal meditation, which is, how do you, you know, it's not, it's not complicated how to do it. You're supposed to imagine whatever the capacity of your imagination, whatever works for you, based on the society you're in, that's the God you're going to go with. And uh, if you're deeper and you're more abstract, like the Rambam talks about God, so you're going to get, uh, you're going to get something um, deeper. And if you're, you know, if you think back um, uh, as a child, I remember pre one a uh, I thought of God with two magical popsicle sticks, and um, um, do, moving them together like a magic wand, creating a world, and he had a black fedora on his head. Um, what are the odds, you know? Being raised in... Uh, Crown Heights that I thought the god of the sky had a resembled someone with a black fedora and a beard but uh, but still abstract you know still uh, not um, I didn't know you know but but then you get pictures because you start you, you learn Chumash when you're a kid and those are stories that uh, are told some say some Bible people say it's not for children when, when what Christine Hayes says the Bible is not for kids I have a eight year old I'm not going to you know, not until they're older, but that's you grow up with that, and that's uh, and then comes the meditation according to Chassidus. Uh, it's a practical one. It's a very easy one. It says, look, you don't really have a concept of who he is and what he is, or you already do, and it's too late. It's fixed in your head. A king, a big king, and he's huge, and he's in the sky, and whatever. You imagine an earthly king with a whole system, and then you think of. Uh, you think that in spiritual terms, just like people imagine ghosts to have wings and to be uh, myth, myth, m even though they're mythological, uh, um, but they're still physical imagination. Angels are white wings, ghosts are like they have this tail like you see in the art. And whatever you're imagining, if the Shadim have chicken feet and if the Malachim look squeaky white, clean, nice, right? why, do we, why do we wear kittles? We wear a kittel on Yom Tif because we have to look like Malachim, which is based on Christian art. But it's don't worry about it. Don't uh, don't don't get all. Don't worry. It's it's if that was the only thing we copied from the Christians, right? That would be a. But that's not the thing. The thing is that so we imagine those things, and those are physical imaginations because angels don't need wings because they don't apply to the laws of physics. So we imagine God in physical terms. A king and with this, and we also imagine that hopefully he's going to do a wholesale judgment. We really, uh, I wonder who doesn't think this during Rosh Hashanah that the God in the sky, when he's doing a judgment and you're standing between, like when you're in a big shul, like Uman is like 10, 15 shuls, 15, 770s, that's how big Uman is. Um, or if you're in a minion of 30, 40 people, you still feel like hopefully they're not looking in on you. And, and looking at you and uh, getting all um, specific, like a cop pulls you over and he knows exactly the speed you went over and you're like, oh man, like he got me, he caught up to me and he got the speed of me and look at that dinner, beautiful. And he hopped me and you're like, and he knows that and you can't get away, you know, there's nowhere to hide behind, nothing, right? So... So Chassidus says, just imagine like a big king, a Pamalia, and all these Sarim are bowing. Whether that's in nature, like the abstract uh, paintings in the times of the Pietists and Romantics. They were like around the times of the Chassidim, but for Christians. 
that we're looking at the Abishter through nature and through all these um, amazing stuff and uh, it, like grandiose but also when you see everything bowing to Hashem so you can imagine physical people bowing like the whole shul or you can imagine angels which are just humans with wings right angels don't have chicken feet how many of you ever thought that white angels have chicken feet right no angels not shade them yeah demons are the bad uh, demons are the black bad angels you know they're like it's like satan satan is like the adversary to god right and on Rosh Hashanah, you know, people have to imagine that because there has to be a makatrik, there has to be a prosecutor for there to be a judgment day. So, you imagine uh, um, how great the king is based on everybody, you know, you, you, you want to know how great Trump is, right? Uh, who is this guy, Trump? So you think of a, a bunch of cars going. Uh, and Obama seems like a cool guy. Obama's more of a sporty guy, more, you know... Uh, also him, you could go with the Air Force One and you go with all this entourage and these cars and you're like, wow, now I get it. You know, usually you see a president, the guy tells you he's the president of the United States, America's a powerful country, we've got bases and army and military and we've got things you don't even know of, but, but, um, but you can imagine practical, real reality stuff that, that they're very powerful in ways that we don't fully know. Because we don't go to the library and research it. Not because it's magic or it's conspiracy crap. And, and then you see it. Sometimes you see it. Like you go, wow, this president is like, wow. Same with a rich person, right? You see him, he talks to you. He reads the same books as you. You don't feel it. And then all of a sudden you see his power and respect. And then you hop, wow. That's, that's big. So you imagine that that's for greatness. Vieda Kopo. Everyone has to know Ki Ati Okay, great. God's an artist. Nice. Nice job. Wonderful work. Now what? So. And the, the theme is Hamelech. Hamelech, you want to have Bittel. You can't start thinking Hashem's your father. And he's looking at you and there's prosecutors and he's like, let's get the hell out of here. Let's get, uh, I want to get the, this whole Rosh Hashanah is BS and this whole Yom Kippur is here to scare us. And, and I'm your father and the reason why you are sinning is because you were raised in a messed up family. And your parents weren't educated properly and they were part of some closed religious cult and there was a crazy leader. So you can obviously expect that you would make mistakes and you stabbed someone. Or uh, he tells you, Bechlal never made any mistakes. You just had, uh, you were just breaking Shabbos, which I never asked anybody to do it. It's just a ceremonial thing. And kosher was just ceremonial. Let's get the hell out of here. You imagine, imagine, if you're imagining God as a father, like Avinu, and you have a deep meditation of Avinu. Uh, Avinu Malkeinu is your whole meditation of Rosh Hashanah. So you're imagining that Abishta is telling you, let's, 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 let's get the hell out of here, man. It's just wrong, you know. Okay. And you wanna, you wanna go, you wanna gigangin. So, but you can't have yuda from that. As a matter of fact, it might lead you astray if you think of Hashem as a king, and you think of organized religion created by humans having nothing to do with the king and the father. You could be completely led, led astray. So, uh, tradition needs you to focus on Hamelech. You see, this is like your father sitting in the Bentley talking to your mother. And, and you're like, wow, my father is the king, he's the boss, let's get out of here. Fasting and this and people are depressed, it doesn't look good. You want to get out of here. So... That's the, that's the word. So, you wanted something and here it is. <laughs>